Hi, I'm Elaine from McTeer's Jewellery Department and today I'm going to talk to you about Victorian morning jewellery. Victorian jewellery is not only reminiscent of the fashion and designs of the time, it is also complex in its symbolism and sentiment. Worn as an ornament, jewellery not only completed the well-dressed lady's costume but also represented her position in society, her marital status and her sense of self. Although mourning jewellery was not unique to the Victorian era, it was during the latter part of the 19th century that it really reached its peak. While many find the idea morbid, the high infant mortality rate and low life expectancy meant that for Victorians, death was an accepted part of everyday life. Queen Victoria popularised the wearing of mourning jewellery after the death of Prince Albert in 1861 and the fashions of the Victorian era reflected the Queen's own personal taste in mourning. Black was the colour of mourning and jet, gutta persia, a natural latex obtained from evergreen trees and moulded horn were all common materials used in mourning jewellery. Black enamelling was also common, as were seed pearl decorations. Designs often included teardrops and flowers, as well as personal messages and memorials. It was also during this period that hair work developed. The idea of including a lock of hair in jewellery began as a means to keep a loved one close, but developed into an intricate and widely practised art. Brooches with skillfully woven and knotted hair work designs were the most popular form of Victorian mourning jewellery, but rings, earrings, pendants, bracelets and watch fobs all became common as the century progressed. Pieces of Victorian mourning jewellery are not simply decorative objects. They are each unique pieces of social history that are highly collectible today.